Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about attachments that can go on your front end loader, okay? Doesn't matter if this is a John Deere quick attach or a Skister quick attach. The important thing is that you have a quick attach bucket. It's one of the reasons why I always recommend if you're in the market shopping for a tractor, you know, unless you absolutely don't think you're going to need it for whatever crazy reason, get yourself a quick attach bucket, okay? Don't buy one without it. I would highly encourage you. So this list today of 10 tractor attachments that can go on your front end loader are going to be just the tip of the iceberg. There's certainly way more than this. I'll give you a couple of honorable mentions as well and also some other cool things to look at. So it's after six o'clock here in Michigan and it's over 90 degrees. So hence the reason I'm here in shorts and a shirt, not looking quite as professional as I normally try to look, but uh, please forgive me for that. But you know, we're gonna go through this list here. I do sell a lot of these attachments here that you're gonna see, all right? And if I don't, I'm gonna have links where you can buy it. And regardless, I'm gonna have links in the description underneath the video. So you can go to each one of these items and you can either purchase it through me, I can ship it out to you, or you can purchase it directly through a manufacturer and have it shipped to you that way as well. And of course, if you are local here to me or close enough to local uh, in Kalamazoo, Michigan, then you're more than welcome to come pick something up from me here as well. And I want to put this nugget of information out there also. So if you know of another manufacturer, some other cool item that I should be aware of and could be beneficial to a lot of folks, I'd love to hear from you. I'm also looking for manufacturers to part with to create some additional attachments that I think are needed and necessary for some of the smaller tractors that are on the market. They're just not really available or at least available at a reasonable price point. I'd love to work together with somebody to make that happen. So pallet forks might actually be the most popular attachment that I sell for the front end loader besides the bucket that things normally come with. But they're very cheap. You hear them called the poor man's grapple. I mean, you can scoop under logs or other piles of debris or stack branches and that kind of thing on here and move a lot of stuff around very easily, very, very quickly. You know, these things are really cheap, okay? I mean, compared to most other attachments out there and they're very versatile. You never hear anybody say that they regret buying a set of pallet forks. The set that you see right here are really designed for the subcompact tractors and the smaller compacts. They're not gonna have a tall headache rack like what you see up here. Um, it's gonna save a lot of weight. Okay? Those smaller tractors don't have a lot of lift capacity. And so a set like this compared to a traditional style of uh, pallet forks is gonna weigh about 130 pounds less. And so some of these smaller loaders, that could be 10, 15, possibly even 20% of the loader capacity. So instead of just trying to lift up the forks, you can lift up something else, you know, a load, instead of just trying to lift the forks and get that much more usefulness out of them. But of course, I sell bigger forks as well. I sell 2,000 pound, 4,000, 5,200 pound, you know, uh, 36, 42, 48 inch, even 60 inch tines, if that's what you need. So these are also available in John Deere Quick Attach, Skid Steer Quick Attach. You can get Global Quick Attach. You can even custom order these. I've ordered them for some of the custom Kubotas and Massey and Coyote models that are out there. Another great attachment is gonna be a grapple for your front end loader, and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Most of those are gonna require an additional hydraulic function on your machine to operate it, to open and close the jaw of the grapple. So what you're gonna see here, this is a WorkSaver Mini grapple right here, comes in a hydraulic version, again, that would require that third function. Also, an electric version right here, that's an all-in-one package, okay, that I can sell you that does not require the hydraulics. It's, it's electrically run, it is tied into your battery, it comes with the wiring harness, everything you need. Another option here is gonna be a brush crusher that doesn't require any electric, hydraulic, nothing like that at all. You know, check out the other videos on my channel. I have a lot more information on these bad boys here, but very versatile and awesome attachment to have for your machine. Snow pushers here are just a super popular option. Again, these are a totally mechanical operation, okay? There's no additional hydraulics that you have to mess around with at all. Just a big old hunk of steel. These things are great at pushing snow forward, but also with a big chunk of steel on here on the top that closes it off. You can roll your bucket, like if you're gonna dump a bucket out, you can roll this thing all the way forward and this becomes your scraping edge and you can go up to buildings and pull snow away from the doors, away from the buildings where you can't otherwise get next to them and then push the snow, you're able to pull it away, okay? So snow pushers, extremely versatile uh, for snow removal, both in light snows, you know, in deep snows and, and everything in between. But at the same time, some of you guys are a more traditional snowplow type of guy. And so these are loader mounted snowplows, okay? So for the John Deere quick attach, you just go right underneath here. Goes on the same way that your bucket would go on again, okay? These are the same uh, system for the snow pushers, for everything that we're talking about today. Gonna go on and off the same way your bucket would. So you can put it right on there, come in different sizes, 60 inch, 72, 84, 96, all that kind of thing. Available for Skid Steer quick attach, John Deere quick attach, rubber steel cutting edge, manual 
electrical, hydraulic angle, all that kind of thing. So a lot of options out there. But again, this is just to get your mind churning and see all the ways that you can put your tractor to work. So buckets, of course, are going to be one of the most popular, most common attachments that you're going to have for your front end loader. And it is an attachment, okay? If you have a quick attach bucket, that means this thing can come on and off. You could buy a tractor potentially without it even. If you didn't actually want it, you wanted paddle forks or something else instead. So buckets, of course, the most popular. This is an extra bucket that I have here. This guy here is off my 1025R. One of the fun things that you can add on to a lot of these buckets I've done a whole video on this, but these tooth bars down here, and this bar right here in particular does not require any additional drilling on your bucket. You use an Allen just to tighten it down. It stays in place just like you need. It's from Heavy Hitch, okay? And this product right here, you can get 5% off with discount code GWT. You can add it onto any of these buckets that are out here, but again, a bucket, super versatile. And this isn't the only kind of bucket that there is. I wanna show you one more. So this bad mamma jamma right here is called a four in one bucket. And the reason it's called that is it's actually, there's hydraulic cylinders on the backside here that allow the bottom back corner here to open up. So this whole bottom plate here essentially will rise up and the bottom will drop out basically. And so you can have uh, material filter down through there. You can almost clamp down and treat it like that, uh, sort of like a grapple a little bit to, to clamp down onto things as well. But uh, this is a very, very heavy duty bucket. I don't really sell these or carry them for smaller tractors. They're gonna be, uh, the ones that I can get are gonna be for your larger tractors. If I remember correctly, this bucket right here is 72 inches wide. It weighs around a thousand pounds. So now I bought this bucket here for my skid steer, okay? And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with it on that. But if you are in the skid steer world as well, I can get you all sorts of attachments for mowers and, and uh, brush cutters and, and buckets like this and whatever else you might need for your skid steer, just let me know and I'll help you out. A bale spear is another popular attachment that you're gonna see. Now this guy here is just a, a used frontier bale spear that I had in stock. It is for sale in case you're looking to pick one up, but in general, a very popular attachment and of course, since it's quick attach, you can take it on and off very easily. They do sell a version that is a clamp on to your bucket, but I tell you folks that, that buy those clamp on pallet forks or clamp on bale spears, that kind of thing, generally are gonna wanna upgrade down the road if they have a quick attach option available. So there's also going to be a lot of configurations available. You know, this is obviously a single spear, but you can get a double spear. You can get two lower ones like this. You can get a three spear even. So a lot of configurations of the bale spear. Make sure again that you're checking the description below because I'll post a lot of links there where you can buy a lot of this stuff. Okay, so that pretty much exhausts what I have here physically at my shop. However, I have quite a few more items here that I want to just bounce off of you really quick. That way you're aware of them. And again, most of the stuff I have links below. Some of it I don't. I've just seen online, but to get your wheels churning. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of ways to use your loader. You need to make sure you can take advantage of it or at least be aware of it so that down the road you can plan for it. Okay, so really cool one here that I saw in a Messix video, maybe it was a year ago, I can't remember for sure. I can get you one of these as well. It's gonna be a post hole digger, okay? It's, they're typically gonna mount to the side of your bucket. Um, some of them do actually mount in place of your bucket, but there's a, a version where you can just bolt it right to the side of your bucket. And you do have to have additional hydraulics to run these uh, post hole diggers or post hole augers. However, pretty sweet. You know, the challenge with a three point post hole auger is the fact that there's no um, uh, down pressure, right? So it's just gravity doing its thing and it's gonna go, it's just gonna core itself down to the ground. And then when you try to get it back out of the ground, they can get stuck as well. So they're kind of a pain to use. Uh, it looks like it appears, and Messix does a good job, Neil does over there on it, explaining it and highlighting it in the video as well of this post hole digger in action. So you do have to have a certain hydraulic flow, that kind of thing also to make it operate, but it's an option out there. One of the other cool things I've seen out there, I think it's called a lane shark, if I remember right. And you have to have additional hydraulics to operate this again. So there's gonna be a certain minimum tractor size that you can have, but it's like a little mini uh, brush cutter and you can angle it to the side and kind of trim this way, or you can, you just put it on your loader and you can just angle it in a lot of different configurations to mow. They're not typically gonna be as wide as the tractor. So that's kind of the downfall, but a pretty cool item nonetheless. A stump bucket, okay? A stump bucket is gonna be a tiny little narrow bucket this way. Now, some of them are longer, okay? The stump buckets that I sell are typically gonna be seen on four series tractors and larger. However, Artillion does make a stump bucket, although it's kind of pricey for the whole setup that'll fit on your smaller subcompacts and smaller compact tractors. Pretty sweet at digging shallow trenches and even then just popping stumps, those small stumps that you have. If you have a whole bunch of saplings out in your 
um, and you know, on your back 40 or whatever that you want to clear out, or maybe for a food plot, that kind of thing, or even some landscaping purposes, shrubs and, and whatnot. These little stump buckets, again, it's like a little, maybe it's, you know, the smaller ones are maybe, uh, I don't know, 16 inches wide. You know, the bigger ones that I sell are going to be, maybe they're 20 inches wide here. And again, they're going to taper down, have some teeth on the end, and allow you just to kind of pop, you know, stumps and that kind of thing, or potentially do a little bit of shallow trenching as well. Another pretty cool one that I saw recently with Tractor Time with Tim, check out his video too, was a tree shear. I think it was a hydraulic tree shear, if I remember right. So you may need some additional hydraulics on your machine. Don't hold me to it. It could have been electric. I just don't recall for sure. But uh, I don't remember the price point, but it looked really sweet. And it was amazing the size of trees that you could shear off with this tree shear. That's pretty cool. But again, all these attachments, keep in mind, I'm going to keep saying that you have to have a quick attached bucket. If you don't, you're doing yourself a disservice. Another pretty cool item that you can get is going to be a front quick hitch, okay? And so you can actually mount it right to in place of your bucket again. Another mount for a quick hitch on the front of your machine. That way you can hook up those three-point attachments. One of the common things that you see is like a landscape rake, for instance, okay? If you want to have it in front of you and use it instead of having to look behind you and see what's going on, or maybe it's a box blade or, or something else along that same train of thought, you know, but you can put it in front of you and use it versus having to look behind you a lot more often. Of course, you're still going to have to back up and turn around and all that kind of thing, but to have the attachment in front of you is pretty cool. And so it's a front quick hitch adapter, it's called. I'll post a link below if I can find it, but a pretty cool little attachment there that potentially opens up the versatility for those traditional three-point attachments. So if you know of another popular attachment out there that's just kind of going under the radar, I'd love to hear about it. Make sure you send me an email or maybe put it in the comments section below. Also, I'm looking for those manufacturers to kind of partner with and create some new products that have some other ideas out there as well. Would like to find a good quality manufacturer that would want to work with me on that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you check out the other videos. Don't forget to read the description. That's where there's going to be a lot of this information and links to buy these items, either from me or directly from the manufacturers. So until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.